All right. Hello, Wander. Today is day two of the Tampa RV show. Are you ready for this? Let's do this. While we're driving over to the show, I'm gonna go ahead and give you some 411. If you ever wanna come here, it's a really good idea to book your RV campsite um, at least six months in advance. We booked ours here at Lazy Days probably almost a year in advance because sites around here are really difficult to come by. We have a bunch of friends, our friends over at Outdoors Inn, our friends at Love Seven, they're all having to like bounce around to different campgrounds, um, which is kind of a pain in the butt. And my suggestion would be if you want to come and it's already like past that year six month mark for planning, then go ahead and fly down here or drive down here and don't bring your RV. Just stay in a hotel or whatever so that you're close. Because to be honest, nobody's gonna know the difference whether or not you have your RV here or not. And it is a pain in the butt if you are stuck like moving to campsite and losing time doing all that stuff. So true. One more, oh yeah. One more thing I wanna add is that the weather's been kind of fluctuating between 30s and like 80s. Um, I'm so thankful we have a ceramic tint because honestly, like there are times where I'm telling Lauren to like dial down the AC because it gets kind of cold in there. Um, that's a ceramic tint on our windows. If you true. haven't seen that video, um, it's one of our mods videos. I'll put that here, 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 wherever it goes. Um, so that you can check that out because that is a really, really wonderful modification that's relevant for Airstream or any kind of RV. It's very, very true. I mean, since we've added it, we haven't been in like really super hot climates. I don't think so. This is probably the first time we've hit like 80s plus. No, that's wrong. Is it? But I've been wrong. It's just before. a reminder that it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what Baby Dash wants. Baby Dash, what's going on back here? Are you just so excited to get to the show? You want to tell us about it? Yeah. <laughs> we'll be there soon, dude. Got our media passes. Just Daniel Dash and Lorene hanging out for the day. I'm gonna fix this really quick. You're as cursive as like a secret ancient language to anybody under the age of like probably like 13. I don't know. Something like that, right? If you're here at the RV show and under the age of 13, I apologize. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at it. It's so pretty though. Had to make a pit stop on the back of the truck bed to take care of a dirty nappy, but we are officially ready to rock and roll for day two of the Tampa RV show. And to be honest, Dash is really sleepy. All right, Dee, what's your goal for the RV show today? That's a good question. Really uh, put me on the spot there. Uh, one is always have a good time. Two is to have a good time. Three is to hopefully see some of our friends. That always makes it fun. That's it. Just going with the flow. I mean, whatever happens, happens. Life is a garden. Dig it. Baby Dash and I, on the other hand, we're looking at potential new homes. Right, dude? And I think he's probably gonna take a nap. There are significantly more people here today, and one, it's only Wednesday the first day, and two, it's the latter part of the day, too, so, yeah, I expect an even bigger turnout throughout the remainder of the week. That actually is a really good point. The earlier you come in the week, the less crowds that you deal with, so keep that in mind. Saturday and Sunday, well, you'll see.
<laughs> We're just randomly walking through the show here and met two of our most amazing friends. Hello, friends. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right into two other YouTubers. Yeah. No, he didn't. Couple. Right? <laughs> That's just us, right? What do you mean? There's other YouTubers here? Finding our somebody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, they're, they're awesome people. Yeah. 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 Dash told me he thinks he found our next new king. This is what I want. <laughs> <laughs> right, Dash? Now this is a big rig. We learned something really interesting the other day. Apparently, when you buy a Prevo, um, you don't have the inside built out yet. This is what it looks like. Smells like wood. This is huge. Yeah. Yeah. So basically all of the interiors of these insane class A's are built out custom by third party vendors. Look at the slat art here. That is uh that's pretty legit. That does not, that does not look flimsy at all. That looks like some serious steel right there. Now this is a command center. Look at this thing. Holy moly. You know what's really cool though? I mean, honestly, with it being a shell like this, being able to sort of build it out and spec it out the way you want, it's really, really cool. Because um, I can't think of many manufacturers that allow you to like fully spec out everything in the interior. And there's probably a lot of choices that you would make if you're making it to accommodate your lifestyle, which is pretty cool. Ready? It just comes with a price tag. Yeah, that's here. Let's go actually take a look inside one. I think this deserves a little bit of explaining. Um, cheetahs are my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite animal. Um, we're runners, obviously. They're the fastest lane animal. The fact that this is uh, decked out with cheetahs, psh, add to cart, bing, I'll take it. For me, this is the add to cart feature, a dishwasher. Hi. Hi. I'm gonna bet this thing has two bathrooms too. And you would be right in bathroom number two. It's a full bathroom because you have a walk in shower. Oh, nice. Yeah. So this is the master bath. And that is a seriously legit shower. Dash, what do you think, buddy? Yeah? Want me and daddy need to swap rigs? <laughs> yeah? Would this wouldn't be sufficient for Ricky Dash? Dang. No, he doesn't have anywhere to live. It's too small Great. for Baby Dash, but. This could be Dash's room. <laughs> <laughs> the closet. It'd be like hey. Harry Potter RV edition, but it has a washer and dryer. Again, add to cart. Okay, I missed this before. This is epic. Hello, fancy refrigerator. I can use so many containers in here. Okay, Daniel, how many flamingos? 
I'm gonna give this one five out of five flamingos. Easily, the finishes are top notch. There's tons of windows. I mean, you have like panoramic windows going up and down the sides of this thing. So, tons of natural light, high-end finishes. That's a true command center up front there. This is really, really cool to see. Usually when you wear shoes, so. Wow! All right, any guesses on what the price tag is on the Cheetah Bus? Daniel? I'm gonna guess, it's, uh, it's real, the finishes are very high end. I'm gonna go with 2.1 million. Nope, 2.8. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was off by seven air shoes. <laughs> Seven inches. Yeah, it's close. Nine inches. Check out the way the windows are framed with lights. I've yet to ever see a Class A or Coach uh, with that feature. It's pretty cool. Money aside, though, that rig would not fit anywhere. I can make it fit. <laughs> I think they're awesome. Honestly, they're so cool. Okay, this is not a Yellowstone vehicle though. No. But to be fair, neither is our airstream. It's too big too. It's true. Yeah. I think it would be scary to learn how to drive that. I think uh, if somebody offered us one, I would figure it out. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we can find. <laughs> okay, so while we aimlessly ramble because we did not make a plan today and this place is so big, you really should make a plan. D. If we were going to swap our airstream out for a different rig. Free about what? That was not a million plus dollars. Oof. Because that's just not in our current life plan. Okay. What would be what would be the things you'd be looking for? That's a good question. If I were to swap it out, the things I would be looking for are lots of natural light. I know that with some of these rigs, uh, there's not a lot of natural light, um, and that makes a huge difference. It really yeah. opens up space. We love that about really sure. Two, modern looking amenities. Uh, it doesn't need to look dated from the day you buy it. So that would be number two in the list. Okay. Uh, number three, if there was a way to connect the indoor and outdoor, indoor to the outdoor space, that's a big plus. Like there's like okay. toy, hauler, toy haulers and patios and all kinds of really cool things like that. That would be another pretty good selling feature. Okay, so you've got your three, I've got my three. Okay. Laundry, floor space, and... Oh, I thought you had three. I thought I had two. I mean, there were three, I love three, the dishwasher, so. but I feel like we're probably gonna be installing that if we don't buy a Prevo. So you can totally do that aftermarket. So laundry, floor space. I don't know what was. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, we got five then. <laughs> I. It's almost guaranteed that if we walk through a few more of these, you're gonna have your oh, fifth, oh, sixth, oh, okay. seventh. Good point. Good point. Yeah. I know what my third one is gonna be. Okay. A reasonable trash can solution. <laughs> OMG. Yeah, she's very I passionate. I hate about that about our airstream. That's true. Yeah, they have like baby trash cans that fit like a uh, sick pack of soda. And nobody who lives full time in these things could possibly live out of a bathroom trash can. I'm just saying. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So, I think it's time to just. We're coming up with a game plan, like we said, on the fly here. Do you want to have to tow a vehicle behind it? So like, do I want it motorized or do I want to like tow it? Like a towable? Yeah. So you have towable, then you have fifth wheel, towable. Uh, I'm open to all of them, honestly. Okay. I think that <gasps> natural light was a big one, so. Okay, okay. pause. This is ice cream. Oh, ice cream. <laughs> okay, let's do that.
I think somebody is curious about my ice cream. But he's so sleepy that like he's not gonna do anything. Oh, oh no, he's going for it. He is going for it. <laughs> he wants some of that ice cream. I don't blame you, buddy, but this has too much sugar for your tiny little body. Dash, buddy. I probably should have gotten Look what shake. Daddy got. Daddy got a milkshake. Cheers. Milkshake brings all the babies to the yard. Boop, my milkshake brings all the babies to the yard. <laughs> He's like, y'all are crazy. Faces of the people passing by. I see friends shaking hands. We have exactly 35 minutes until it closes. We made it back to the far side that we never made it to last year. And my consensus is there have to be at least, my guess is 2,500 fixes. This place is huge. And Dash is going to be Okay, so last year at the show, I loved the Forest River. Arby's, so we're gonna go look at those. This is a fifth wheel, it's 37 feet, so it's seven feet longer than our airstream and would probably require that we upgrade our truck. The standard fifth wheel RV setup. Living room in the front. But you have a really good floor space. Dash would love to crawl in here. Kitchen. Residential refrigerator. Oh, they've got it black. That, that would be legit. I bet this is a half bath. Yeah. Although I really don't imagine us actually using a half bath very often. Big bed. This would be D a plus for D. All right, and a bathroom that's pretty huge. For us, I feel like we just don't use our bathroom space very often, so I feel like this is kind of wasted space for us. But it's a cute rig. Not cute. It's a pretty rig. Last year at the Tampa RV show, there was this one unit that I fell in love with. And out of all the gajillion units are here, we actually found it this afternoon, so I cannot wait to show it to you. It is a 2023 this year, Forest River Riverstone, and it is 39 feet. So it's only a little bit bigger than our airstream, but the floor space, wow. Come on in. So one of the things that I love about this, and unfortunately they said that the electric hasn't been working all day over here, so it's gonna be a little bit dark, but we're gonna deal with it anyway. So I love the windows in here. And I love that even though it's a fifth wheel, it's not like your average fifth wheel layout, so they all kind of look alike. Got your living room area in here. You even have a desk set up, which would be so nice for Dan and I. Um, Dash loves fans. It has a fan. The little things. This is so much more room in the kitchen. And this is the unit that I remember from last year. It literally has the best trash setup I have ever seen.
literally in this little hole you can fit a real trash can and not only that but you can dump it from the outside which is just genius why would not why would foreign people not do this of course you've got bigger stove you've got the full size refrigerator and then the laundry in this thing is to die for let me show you so it has two bathrooms but the laundry room is in here full setup and not only that but in this little closet over here there is a laundry chute from the bedroom that you can throw it into and then literally pull your dirty laundry out and throw it in here that is so cool okay let's look at the bedroom said laundry chute right there it's pretty cool big king size bed and then a bathroom that is really more space than we need but it does have his and her sinks i'm pretty sure daniel would love that and it has the smell good closet like our airstream does it's probably hard to see right now i'll go make sure we didn't get locked in This rig, as far as I'm concerned, is a high contender on my list of ones that I would seriously look at. Not because we don't love the Airstream, but because it checks a lot of those boxes. Who knows? I'm like, mm. I mean, while it does have a ton of floor space and plenty of the amenities, um, I would just like to see something with a little bit more natural light. Okay. Personally, I know there's like windows there, but and. Honestly, you know, it didn't have power, so the lights weren't on, but uh, that's just another reason as to why you need more windows, more natural light. You don't have to worry about like being plugged in all the time and having the lights on, no, you know? Fair. So yeah, that's my feedback. Okay, it's 544, so I'm pretty sure we just got locked into that last unit that we were in. <laughs> that was, so. It was actually pretty funny. I told them, <laughs> we told them if the power was still on, you could have just locked us in there and we were just like crashing that king size bed, which I actually do love. Um, and they would have just found us here in the morning, which is fine by me. That would know? have been entertaining. Yeah, we'll just we order some. a whole YouTube video about that. <gasps> Stuck at the know. RV park. <laughs> at the RV show. We would have ordered Uber Eats and then, like, tipped them extra to, like, bring it to the window. They could have, like, passed through the window. We could have just crashed. In the... <laughs> okay, we'll make a plan for that next week. Yeah. So if you want to lock us into uh, an RV overnight at the show, just forget Let it. us know. We'll as, do long, it. as long as we can get some kind of food. But, yeah. <laughs> Baby Dash finally fell asleep. We're back to shutting the party down. That's how we roll though, right? <laughs> That's how we roll. No matter where we go, we're going to be late to get there and we're going to turn it up and we're going to shut it down. Did you successfully have fun, fun, and more fun today, Daniel? I did. Right. Yeah, we got to see some friends today and... We got to see some of you all. That's right. <laughs> What's better than that? That's awesome. Very true. Okay, well, day two, check. Do we wander local today? We're always wandering local. We had some leftovers. It was for a local restaurant for lunch. That is true, and I'm honestly wanting to go back. I usually don't say that about most places, but... That was good food. Because it's always fun to try like a bunch of different new places, but I definitely want to go back to this one. Yep. So we'll feature it in an upcoming video, no doubt. Okay, so... Until tomorrow, friend, make sure you want our local. Because as you know, it's good for the soul.